All right, so today I'm going to show you how to get the uh, current sensor working. Um, there's two different ESCs we sell. One is the Bolt and one is the Bolt 32. Depending on which ESC you pick, you're going to need to set up current differently. The Bolt 32 actually uses four current sensors. There's one here, 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 and here. And those current sensors actually relay the current from each motor individually, which gives us a little more control, lets us do a little more things. Um, but it's a little different how the current information is sent. On the normal bolt, there's only one current sensor, and uh, you can see that right here. And that current sensor is just sent directly to the flight controller as a 3 volt signal. So one is sent digitally, which is the bolt 32, and one is sent analog, uh, which is the bolt. Um, the, the downside is right now with the Bolt 32, you most likely have to use D-Shot to get the current. Although the latest version, he added something to always send the current. So it might work on multi-shot. You, you'll have to test that. And I'm sure if it's not working yet, eventually uh, BL Heli will add the ability to do it as well. The first thing you need to do is jumper this according to which ESC you have. This is the current jumper right here. And if you have the BL Heli 32, which is the Bolt 32, you're going to want to bridge the TX pin and the current pin. What this does is allow us to send it digitally to the flight controller. If you're using a normal BL Heli S ESC or even some BL Heli 32 ESCs that are other brands, uh, if they're sending it analog, they, that means they probably only have one current sensor, you're going to bridge the current and the current pin, the top two here. Uh, make sure you bridge this properly because if you don't, then the current's not going to work. Okay, so now that we've jumpered the uh, ESC properly, um, we're going to go in here and set it up. So if you're using BL Heli 32, you want to make sure you check this box. You want to make sure your ESC type is selected, BL Heli 32. You want to pick uh, D Shot 1200 for your protocol, which will make that warning go away. Uh, keep in mind your tune may um, actually change with these shots, so you might want to tune it a little bit differently. Uh, for the OSD, we're going to make sure we pick internal OSD, and then you can choose your font and go ahead and hit save. Now, once you choose your font, you might want to click the load OSD character map just to make sure it uploads the font. If you change your font, this is you want to do this. This just gives the uploads the letters to the OSD. All right, now we want to configure the OSD layout. To do that, just click Configure OSD Layout. And in here, we choose what we see. So if we want milliamps, we can click that and pick MAH. If you want to see a battery picture with milliamps, you can click this as well. Or you can click here and you can choose Current. I believe the MAH or the battery picture MAH shows how much you've used total and then current shows how much you're currently using more or less so uh, and this is set I think for a 1300 uh, milliamp battery by default and you can tune that uh, to get different so once you select that hit select hit save and exit and that's all it should take now uh, current should show up in your uh, in your uh, OSD so if you if we plug a battery in here um, I we should even see it uh, under here. We can see we see the voltage and current draw is showing zero right now. That's because uh, we're not really doing anything, so there's not really drawing any current. Um, but this is a good way to see if at least your voltage is working. So go ahead and fly it and then uh, you should see current in the OSD.